Greetings folks, welcome. In this video, we're gonna have some fun in Excel. We're gonna do some basic multivariate regression analysis, where we look at the effects of several explanatory variables on US industry employment change between April of 2019 and April of 2020, so over a year's time. But before we get into it, I just wanna remind you of some caveats or things to keep in mind when we use Excel. First is different versions of Excel look different. I'm using Excel on a Mac. If you have a PC, your version of Excel might look a little bit different. Um, the second caveat is there are certainly different ways of doing things in an Excel. And even beyond Excel, there are other computer software, econometric software that you could use for regression analysis. The approach I'm gonna take is certainly good for a beginner, but somebody with more advanced training would probably use a different uh, software and probably take a different approach. So let's start by just going over sort of this conceptual model or this regression model that we're going to estimate. Again, this regression model is an idea of sort of how I think the world works. So I think that industry employment change, again, over a year's time between April 2019 and 2020, is related to sort of the physical proximity of jobs within an industry. So that first variable is PHYS proximity. And this is the percentage of employment in a sector that's in occupations where people have to work really close together or with an arm's length. The second variable is work with public, and that's the percentage of employment in the industry and occupations where people work for the public. So for instance, my job is an economics professor, so my occupation or the work that I do involves working with students and other people, so certainly my job would be counted among those where I work with uh, the public. The next few variables, you see menu, trade, info, serve, hosp, oserve, and other. These are industry dummy variables. So the first one stands for manufacturing. The second one, trade, is retail or wholesale trade. Um, the next one, info, would be information um, industry. The next one is serve, which covers various services, et cetera. HOSP stands for hospitality. So that would be like um, restaurants and hotels, things like that. So we have a couple types of variables in this regression model. The first two, physical proximity and working with the public, are quantitative variables. Again, they go between zero and one. It could be really anything in between. Again, they're measured as the percentage of employment in an industry that have those characteristics. The rest of the variables are industry dummy variables, which take on the value of zero or one. So if the sector that you happen to be studying is manufacturing, that menu variable equals one, and the rest of the dummy variables or the rest of the industry dummies equals zero. Or if it's a hospitality sector, um, HOSP equals one, and the rest of those industry dummies equals zero. So we can use the results of our regression analysis to test the hypothesis. And I have this idea that I think the physical proximity of jobs affected industry employment change between April of 2019 and 2020. So of course I take my claim and that's the alternative hypothesis. So that's written as H subscript A is beta one is not equal to zero. And that's against a null hypothesis written as H subscript zero is beta one is equal to zero. So if an explanatory variable has no impact on the dependent variable, it's zero. The second step of the hypothesis test is setting the significance level. In this case, we're going to use alpha equals 0.01. This means that I'm okay with there being a 1% chance of making a type one error. The third step is sort of the fun part where we get to do our research, which I'll show you in a minute how we do this in Excel. Um, we can calculate the test statistic, which is a T stat, and that is equal to B1 hat, which is the value from our research, minus beta one naught, which is the value from the null hypothesis, which happens to be zero and you divide that by the standard error of the sampling distribution of B1 hat. So now we can kind of put what we're going to do in words. We're going to estimate a regression model that examines the effect of physical proximity on industry employment change, and we're going to control for the effects of working with the public and also control for a sector's broad industry category. 
And of course, when we control for uh, the broad industry category, since we're using dummy variables, we need an omitted category. And it doesn't matter which category we choose to omit. Just because you have to pick one, let's omit this sector that I call an other category. So now we can write out the regression model that we're going to estimate. Again, it's industry employment change between April of 2019 and 2020 equals B0 hat plus B1 hat multiplied by physical proximity. Again, this is the percentage of employment in an industry in jobs where people work within arm's length plus B2 hat work with the public. Again, that's the percentage of employment in the industry and occupations where people work with the public. And then you have the dummy variables. Um, B3 hat times manufacturing, B4 hat times trade, etc. What you notice here is we no longer have this other industry category because that's our omitted category, which means when we do our regression analysis, the effect of manufacturing, trade, information services, etc., those are, those are all interpreted relative to this category that's just all other industries. So we're just about ready to start the regression analysis. When we jump into Excel, we're going to look for the data menu. And then under the data menu, we'll select data analysis tool. And this is something you might need to load into your version of Excel or load this tool into Excel. And then once we're in the data analysis tool, we're going to click on regression. And when you select the regression tool, it asks you to input the Y range. This is the dependent variable, which in our case is this employment change variable. And then we'll input the X range. And since this is multiple variant regression analysis, we have several explanatory variables. And we'll just grab that range um, and put it into the regression tool and see what happens. So I'll catch you there in a sec. All right, folks, so welcome to my Excel spreadsheet where we have the data set that we're going to use to do some regression analysis. Make it a little bit bigger here so it's easier to see. See, the first column is an identification number for the sectors, the industries of the economy. In the second column here, which is B, you see the April 2019 to 2020 um, industry growth rate. So here's a sector that fell by about 8%, 11%, 13%, 2%, 25%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 95%, 100%, 200%, 300%, 400%, 500%, 600%, 700%, 800%, 1,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,000,000%, 1,
So now we have the regression tool. It asks us to input the Y range. And first off, I'm going to click Labels so that when we get our regression results, all the variables are labeled. And our uh, dependent variable, or Y variable, is the growth of the sector between April 2019 and 2020. So let's grab this here. And then next, we need to input the X range. And um, so we're going to grab all the explanatory variables. And you might remember with dummy variables, you need an excluded category. And we'll go ahead and exclude this last sector that's called other. So these are just other sectors that aren't information or aren't trade and transportation, etc. So let's grab our explanatory variables. Need to make sure I don't I don't want to grab K, because that's got to be our excluded category. So here we have it. So this looks okay. So now we have everything we need to do our regression analysis or estimate our regression model. So we will do it on the count of three, <laughs> two. Ready? I don't want to go if you're not ready. All right, three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, so now we have our regression results, and I'm going to enlarge this so it's a little bit bigger here. So you see our R squared, our adjusted R squared. We had 90 sectors or 90 industries in the data sets. We had 90 observations, and now you see the results. And this shows why I wanted to click labels so that all these uh, uh, variable names pop up when you get your results. If you don't click labels, it's going to say something like variable one, variable two, variable three, which you kind of might, you might forget what those variables are. So it's useful when you actually have um, the variable uh, labeled here. So here you have the intercept, which means the estimated coefficient corresponding to the intercept is B zero hat. Um, the variable physical proximity, um, the estimated coefficient corresponding to that is B one hat. Here's your B two hat, your B three, etc. Because again, here are your two uh, quantitative variables and here we have our, our dummy variables. So you might remember that when you interpret the dummy variables, it's interpreted relative to the omitted category. And the omitted category is a sort of catch-all group. So this coefficient right here tells you the effect associated with being in the broad manufacturing sector compared to that other excluded category. Here's the effect um, associated with being part of this professional business uh, services sector compared to that other category again. But we're um, interested in conducting a hypothesis test on the effect of physical proximity on the employment growth in an industry uh, between April 2019 and 2020. You see the estimated coefficient, the standard error, and if you remember, when you set up your hypothesis test, your test statistic is the value from your research minus the value from the null hypothesis, which is zero. You divide that by the standard error to get the t-statistic. So sure enough, this t-statistic is the estimated coefficient corresponding to physical proximity divided by the standard error. If you don't believe me, I will say equals the value that's in B18 divided the value that's in C18. And that's the same value for the T statistic. Um, it's sort of handy that when you do this in Excel, they automatically give you the P value. Remember, this is a P value for a, a two-sided hypothesis test. Um, so it's quite low here. It's less than um, 1%. It's about half of a percent. So what this p-value tells us is that there's very weak support for the null hypothesis, which means we can reject the null in favor of our claim that in fact the physical proximity of, of jobs within these industries had an effect on the employment growth 
of these sectors between April of 2019 and April of 2020. So again, that's that's pretty much it. Um, again, just sort of a recap. When you run these regressions, you get your R squared, you get your adjusted R squared, you get all of your estimated coefficients, you get your standard errors, T stats, P values. Again, since this is a multiple regression analysis, this value right here, this coefficient, tells you the effect of physical proximity on the employment growth of these sectors holding constant or accounting for all these other variables um, like working with the public and these broad industry dummies.